India's space industry has soared to new heights in recent years. We witnessed the triumphant mission of Chandrayaan-3, which marked India's ambitious venture into lunar exploration. Plus, the introduction of India's space policy opens up the cosmos for private enterprises and startups. Let's delve into the heart of the matter. A report from NASCOM explores the potential of Indian space tech and opportunities for space startups in three key areas remote sensing, satellite communication, and positioning navigation timing. It's a promising era for the Indian space industry. The space sector can be broadly divided into three segments the upstream segment, the downstream segment, and the auxiliary segment. Among these segments, the downstream sector is poised to skyrocket with an estimated worth of $610 billion by 2031. This offers a golden opportunity for those looking to innovate and revolutionize our world through space technology. The global space sector is a hotbed of innovation. In recent years, it shifted from government control to a dynamic collaboration between public and private entities. The space market has grown to $447 billion and set to reach a trillion dollars by 2030. A report from Ernest & Young Private Limited India reports over 100 space tech startups in India. The opportunities are abundant. But interestingly, India's space industry represents just 2% of the global market, as highlighted in the NASCOM report. There are several Indian names that have ventured into space, like Pixel, Azista BST Aerospace, Digantara, Dhruva Space, Antaris, XT Links Labs, and Anand Technologies. They have already launched some exciting projects. The question that needs to be asked is what are the opportunities for Indian space startups? There are massive growth prospects in fields such as Earth observation, satellite communication, positioning, navigation, and timing. The possibilities are boundless. And to realize these opportunities, the Indian government launched the Indian Space Policy earlier this year and organizations such as ISPA for promoting the participation of private entities into the Indian space sector. Now, you might be wondering, what is ISPA? Well, it's a non-profit organization that's bringing the government and private sector together fostering collaboration and development in India's private space industry. Yet, it's not all smooth sailing. There are challenges ahead. The supply-demand mismatch, saturation in certain value chain sections, bridging the gap, and providing value for money are some of the hurdles. In conclusion, the Indian space industry is on the cusp of a transformation that could redefine the entire sector. With the Indian space policy of 2023 paving the way, the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning for those who dare to dream and reach for the stars. Thank you for watching Ties TV. I would appreciate your efforts to like, subscribe, and share this among your peers. For more engaging content, follow us on Google News, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Find all the links in the description. Let's stay in touch and stay tuned here. Keep smiling and have a great day.